Okay, so let's get started. Today, I wanna to teach you how ethos works in dialogue in nonfiction essays. And so to start with, I'm gonna do a review of ethos and then we'll look at some examples of dialogue in the nonfiction essays we've been reading and then we'll analyze how they work. So let me pull up our first example. That video was missing visual or audio punctuation at its beginning to let audience members know this is the start of a video. Instead, there were a few extra seconds of content left on of me settling in and getting ready to record. Plus, there was way too much visually going on in the video. There was clutter behind me. You might have been trying to figure out what the paper on the wall said instead of paying attention to the content of what I was talking about. You probably noticed me playing with my jewelry and even the pattern on my shirt was distracting. Plus, I was looking all around the room and I was making a lot of hand gestures that didn't contribute to what I was talking about. Now, keep in mind that different instructors will present different visually on screen. If your typical method of communication doesn't involve eye contact or involves a lot of hand movement, that's completely fine. By presenting your everyday self on camera, your audience members will get a sense of who you are as a person. Let's analyze how ethos works in dialogue in nonfiction essays. So the one thing I want you to remember about ethos is that crafting a sense of character is about habits. How does the writer show us who they are through the habits they enact? We'll look first at Kathy Park Hong's essay where she uses dialogue to show us how she's wrestling with whether to include her friend's story in her memoir. In the revised video, I significantly reduced the visual content on screen. I wore simpler clothes, I removed the clutter behind me, and I demonstrated through my facial and hand gestures that I wanted to make a connection with my audience. You might have also noticed that I simplified my verbal explanation. For example, instead of starting the video by saying what it would cover, I just dove right in. 